What is this? This is the Drop-O-Matic. We needed something that could drop all five phones simultaneously, so I made this. Here on Battle Damage, we don't only love destroying technology, we also love creating it. Which is why instead of just dropping the iPhones by hand, we custom built this crazy thing. Here are my first printed prototypes. This is the bottom, and this is the little slide mechanism, which will release the trap door. I was gonna have just one big button in the center, but I realized you really wanna kinda hit them with your thumb. So you can see it's plotting out the basic shapes. You can kinda get an idea of what it's gonna look like. Now it's gonna start very slowly putting down those base layers. This print's gonna take about five hours. Printing the biggest piece. We've got some of the phones in. This is sort of the moment of truth. Two out of three are <laughs> too tight. So maybe we'll get in there with some sandpaper and see what we can do. This is what I got so far, which is really good progress. I don't use Arduino enough to really like know how to code. I just like copy and paste. So basically what I got right here is, you know, you press this button and it opens and closes. Here's a basic mock-up of what it's gonna look like. These will be our LED status lights, power, microcontroller, and under here, it's a little printed spot for the battery. Okay, so startup sequence. I'm gonna go like this. And then shot, I'm gonna shut. Yeah! Okay, here's all the generations of iPhones, and we're seeing what fits. Seems to be good. Seems to be good. iPhone 4. Oh, iPhone 5 iPhone 6, actually pretty good. A little toaster, man. Let's see if they all fall, ready? Here you go, one, two, three. <laughs> it works. Let's load it again. If you thought the drop matic was cool, give this video a thumbs up and click the link on screen to watch the iPhone episode.